welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's Cheryl from Planning with Lux. This channel is all about planning our best lives, discussing lifestyle, and sprinkling in a little bit of luxury. So if this is something you're interested in, stop right now, hit that red subscribe button, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Today, I'm coming at you with another planner related video. We're going to be doing a plan with me for August the 26th through September the 1st. So let's just jump right into it. Today we're planning with this beautiful print, printable kit from Planner Pixie Co. The name of this kit is called Sea Breeze and I picked it because it's the last week of summer, the last week to get our beach time in. And this kit has so many pretty stickers, functional stickers, and I just wanted to use this up. This kit is really good because it even gives you an extra sheet that you can use, and it has skin tones for everybody. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. We're going to open up our planner. Y'all, let me just show you all this. I was eating last week some, what do you call those things? It was wings from Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I got some barbecue sauce on my wrist and did not realize it and touched on my planner. So y'all know I had a fit. So that's just barbecue sauce from the Honey Barbecue Wings. That's what it's called. Okay, jump into, right into it. Let's take the inserts out. and place the planner to the side. I took out too many. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, putting down our beautiful washi. And before I do that, I think I'm going to try to incorporate this beautiful um, washi from Simply Gilded. Okay. So let's just flip through this because we give you so many stickers and find some pretty header, some pretty header um, washi. I like that one. Hmm. I think I might want to, let's just put this down, these two colors down. I think I like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started laying down our pretty washi strips. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get started laying down our glitter washi. I love these colors. This pretty golden color, yellow color, and this gray. I think it's really pretty. And I am loving the way this kit is going to turn out. This is my first time actually ordering from Planner Pixie Co., but I'm definitely going to order more from her in the future. So now we're going to go ahead and pick the skin tone that we want and lay down this double full box. I love the way that sticker looks. And I'm going to link down the type of sticker paper that I'm using because the paper that I use is really easy to pull the stickers up if you laid them down the wrong way. That way I don't have to use undo as much as possible. I love this little sticker right here with the little girl on the sand eating her watermelon. And I thought this was such a nice kit to use because it's the end of the summer, the end of the beach time. So we're just gonna continue to lay down our full boxes. And again, I'm gonna lay down, um, if you want to use the type of paper that I use, it's great. Or if you want to use just regular Avery sticker paper, that's fine too, it's just your preference, whichever one you want to lay down. 
and I love this sticker with the little girl just waving on the beach so now we're just gonna go in and put down some simply gilded washi when I use printable stickers I like to use like little extra things just to make the kit pop a little bit so this pretty washi with the foil on it and I like to use a lot of the tassel planner icons too So now we're going to go in and lay down this quarter box and we're going to go in with the icon from the tassel planner for my physical therapy appointment. I will link a discount code down below, Cheryl15, you get 15% off of things you order from the tassel planner and you can use it any day except for $2 Tuesdays. So this week I had a lot of things happen to me, well actually last week. So Mondays I always have my physical therapy appointments on Mondays and I'm in physical therapy if, if you don't know because I fractured my ankle a while ago back in the beginning of the summer, actually the end of the spring and my therapist is trying to get me ready so I can start running again. So I had to try this contraction called a weightless treadmill that sounds really crazy and it was crazy let me tell you they made me put on these little shorts it looked kind of like biker shorts but they're really thick and they told me you know if you don't look like you're uncomfortable you don't have it on right so they gave me these really tight shorts and then i had to get zipped into the treadmill okay and i'm like what are y'all doing to me so they zipped me into the treadmill and then they cut on the machine and all this air just gushed up and I am holding on to the treadmill for dear life. I felt like I was Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz and the tornado was coming to take me away because I was literally lifted off of the treadmill and I felt like I was getting ready to be suspended in the air. But I'm holding on, I'm holding down, and they're laughing at me, but it was not funny. But anyway, that's what they tried to do so that my ankle can get a little stronger, I guess, to not put so much weight on my ankle while they're getting me ready. So after physical therapy, it was exciting. So I'm driving to work, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting ready to start my day. I got almost to my job, and I got my music going, Next thing I know, a police officer is behind me, and they got the little, you know, the sirens on for me to pull over. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I pulled over to the side, and you know how you get your license and your registrations, and you're sitting there, and you're, you know, holding the steering wheel, you know. And I'm like, hi, officer, how you doing? And he's like, do you know your brake, your brake lights are out? I'm like, my brake lights? No, I didn't know my brake lights were out. No, I didn't know that. And he told me I had no brake lights. My right and my left brake light was out. The only one that was working was the one that's in the very center. You know, the one that's in your um, back window. And I'm like, no, I didn't know that. So he took my license and he took my registration and he went to his car and immediately when he went to his car, I called my mechanic and I'm like, hey Mike, I just got pulled over by the cops, okay? And they're telling me my brake lights are out. I'm going to need you to come to my house this afternoon or as soon as you can and fix my car. So my mechanic is like a rolling mechanic. He has a um, van and he goes to to wherever you are and he will fix your car and he's very good so he was like, okay no problem Cheryl I got you I come to your house this afternoon so when the officer came back I guess he could tell I was a little you know a little nervous a little bit and he started he said you know what you look very familiar to me I'm like you don't know me he's like and your name your name looks familiar to me too. I said, oh, you don't know me. No, you don't know me. He started laughing. But then I was like, you know what? I didn't know if he was serious or not. But then I was like, you know what? I used to work for a law enforcement agency and I worked with a lot of cops. So maybe you knew me from that, okay? But then I realized he was just trying to, you know, make me a little, you know, calmer because he can tell that I was a little tense. But anyway, he was like, well, um, I'm going to have to give you this work order to get your back brakes and you can't be driving around like this i'm like no problem thank you for the warning i'm going to I already call my mechanic he's going to come fix my car this afternoon and as soon as you let me go i'm going to go home okay and park my car 
So I called my supervisor, let them know that I could not come to work, told them what happened, I gotta get my car fixed. Okay, so I whipped a Yui, literally went straight home and parked my car in the garage. I do not play. I don't, Cause it, number one, that's dangerous anyway, driving around with your brake lights out, that's not good. So my mechanic came to my house that evening and looked at my house, looked at my car. And what happened was, you know how sometimes your lights might go out, a light might go out, might blow, a bulb might blow. I had that happen and I went to a auto parts store. You know how you see people that are like, oh, I could change your bulb for yada yada dollars and you let them do it. When apparently when I let the person do that, they didn't put the bulb in the right way. So it melted some of the little housing things. I guess the little things that you put the bulb in and melted. So that was making the brake lights um, short circuit. So I had an electrical problem. So I had to replace both of my housings, both of them. So anyway, my mechanic, you know, he was, it happened really fast. He was able to fix it pretty fast. Not that day because then he had to order, you know, the housings and it took a couple of days to get to me but when they finally got to me he was able to fix it really fast and then I had to go to the um the police officer barracks and have them sign off on the work order so they can see that it got done and they put it in the system so I won't have any more problems if I get stopped again and I don't plan on getting stopped again but you know now I'm good to go and I'm able to drive without any problems but that was a lot of excitement for me on Monday, just past. So now I know I haven't been talking about my plans at all, y'all, but now I'm planning on Friday. Friday is my hair wash day, so I'm just laying down my hair wash icon right there. And then we're gonna put in this cute little work um, deco. And on Friday, I am off, you know, getting ready for the holiday. So I'm off on Friday. And then we're going to go in and put down this pretty Simply Gilded Washi. And we're just going to cut off the excess. I am loving the way this kit is turning out. It looks so pretty. And all of these extra um, Simply Gilded Washi that I'm laying down and the foil icons I'm laying down makes the kit look really pretty. So now we're going to go in and put down the little icon for family time. And then we're going to accent it by using the tassel planner, little hearts. Y'all don't forget to use that show 15 to get you 15% off the tassel planner if you go to our website. Save you a little bit of money. Okay. So now we're going to go in for Saturday. Saturday I don't have much going on right now. And on Sunday we're just going to put this down and Sunday we have church. But I forgot to bring out my tassel planner church icons, but I'm just going to write in there church. Okay, so now we're going to go in and put down our pretty weekend banner. I think the weekend banner is so cute and I am loving the way this kit turned out. What do y'all think? The one thing that I have noticed is a lot of the times when you are looking for printable kits, a lot of the kits that are already, you know, printed out and done up for you, a lot of those kits use the same artwork as the printable kits. So now we're just going to go in, going to go in and continue to tombow out these lines just to make everything fresh and clean. So we can get ready to lay down our washi so it'll look very pretty. So if you stay with me so far, please make sure you give me a like, a thumbs up. So I know you like this type of um, video and I know that you like this kit. Now I really like this washi. I think it's like water or maybe it's like, um, what do you call it, birch wood, the kind of wood you find on the beach. But whatever it is, I think it's very nice with the pastel colors. I think it's so pretty. So now we're just going to go in and cut off the excess. So now we're just going to layer it with this other washi by the Simply Gilded. I just thought these bows 
made the kit look a little something something extra it looked really cute and I just wanted to accent it as much as possible I love using foil in my kits to make the kits pop So has anyone ever had this type of experience where your back lights were out in your car and you didn't know? I think the next car I buy, I want to make sure I talk to the salesperson to make sure that when stuff like that happens, my car will let me know my lights are out. Because you, you would never know what's going on unless somebody tell you and nobody told me my back lights were out. Okay, so now we're just going to go in and lay down our date dots. Now this kit comes with date dots, but I'm using date dots from the sticker bloom just because they're foil and I just want to make the kit pop a little extra. So we're going to lay down our pretty foiled date dots by sticker bloom. And again, I will link everything down below. It's so pretty. So comment down below, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to use a silhouette and use printable stickers. Comment down below and let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Me doing a video to show you how to print off your printable stickers on your silhouette. Because let me tell y'all, I love using my silhouette now. Now that I figured it out, I love using it for sticker kits. Now we're just gonna go in and combo out our dates that's on our inserts because when we lay down our um, date covers, we don't want it to bleed through. So we're just gonna go in and finish doing that. And now we're gonna lay down our date covers with our date dots. I think this looks so cute. I love the way it turned out. And you don't have to use all this gold foiling. You can use exactly what came with the kit. But I just like making mine glam up a little bit. I love looking through my planner and seeing all the foils. It just makes me happy. Okay, if you're with me so far, if you're still with me, please give me a thumbs up. So now we're just going to go in and put down some extra deco. I started using deco on my spread, just throughout it, because we get so much of it and it's so pretty. Why not just decorate your spread with extra deco? It makes it look really cute. Okay, so we're almost finished laying down our cute deco with the food on the beach and the umbrellas and the grill. And this food actually looked good in this kit too. It looked like some kind of ribs or something. And now we're just going to lay everything back down in our planner. And look at how the foil is glistening. Do you see how this foil is just glistening, y'all? Please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Bye-bye, Lux Babes.